I'll just go continuous with it. You going? I'm going. Alright. So this is the pork shoulder. We're going to take the cottage roll off, also known as the copa. To do this, you'll find the arm bone here. And then you can see there's a natural, natural seam here where you can go ahead and start. So get your knife in there going. I did a little bit of this already, but it'll really just roll out. You go on top of the shoulder blade here. And just keep following it and rolling it out at the same time. Using the weight of the shoulder to allow you to separate them. Let's go straight down. We'll fix that up in a moment. Now we're going to bone out the shoulder blade. First we'll expose the entire thing. Good trimmings for sausage making. Just outlining the whole thing. Once you get a lot of it kind of removed, you can force the meat off the bones where you get a really clean break. There you have a decently clean bone. We'll boil that for boudin in a couple days. <laughs> now, so if you're talking about beef, this would be the chuck roll, and then the portion that we're about to clean up would be the shoulder roast or arm roast. We'll get that flat iron out of the way. And then start peeling the fat around the muscle grouping. Again, you can with seam butchering, you can pull a lot of it apart. There we have, go ahead and get a cross section, your shoulder roast. Look how pretty that looks. It's very nice. Get a quick cross section of this here too. This just so happens to be my favorite cut of pork. Very nice. And then this here is just a huge cap of fat that we can use to add into our sausage. Probably about two pounds worth, maybe a pound and a half. And there is your... <laughs> Port for sausage making. On top of all the venison and wild boar. <laughs>